Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the rose chawl. It's this beautiful rectangle chawl, it's super easy, super beautiful, you can make it in whatever color combination you like. And this project it's super super fun. You can make it while watching TV because it's a project that it doesn't require a lot of attention. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So you're gonna be here every week when I upload a new video. And now let's see what you need to make this chawl. Okay, so I'm gonna be using three skeins of 100% acrylic. This yarn it's from Loops and Thread. I believe it's Michael's uh, brand. And I'm using three different colors. You can use three different colors as well, or four, or if you wanna use the same color, that's totally up to you. This is a category four. It's medium weight yarn. And this ball comes with 127 grams. You can use three skins of this, or if you have a 100 gram skin, you can use four balls. I'm also gonna be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and of course, a scissors. To begin with this shawl, make a slip knot. So now we will chain 194. This will be the length of your chawl. If you want your chawl to be longer, you can chain more. Remember, you need to have uh, multiples of a 6 plus 2. And here I have my 194 chain. Now I'm going to start with half double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And now repeat this until this row is completed. So in here, this is my last half double crochet. Now we're going to start row number two, chain one, turn your work, and half double crochet in the very first stitch. And you're gonna be doing this for four rows. So four rows with half and double crochet in the color A. So here is the last stitch of the color A. So now I'm gonna change to color B. Grab the new color, this is color B, and before closing the last stitch with color A, we are gonna instead close it with color B. So this is how we are gonna switch the colors between rows. So now chain one, and here as you can see I left um, long tails so I'm gonna be using this after to make the fringe of this beautiful chawl so now for color B we are going to crochet half double crochet for one row so row number five half and double crochet once we are done with row number five now we're gonna switch to color A again. So for row number six, single crochet all the way long. Chain one, turn your work, and single crochet in the very first stitch. And repeat the sequence until row number six is completed. So now we're gonna bring color C, so join color C, 
and now we're going to make the super pretty stitch combination of uh, the V stitch and the three double crochet together. This is a super super pretty stitch combination. I think it's called uh, combination something. <laughs> Don't remember exactly the name. Chain three. This is going to count as the first double crochet. Now skip the second one and double crochet in the third space, in the third uh, stitch there. Chain one and double crochet in the same space. So this is the V stitch. Now skip one, two and in the third space double crochet three stitches together in the same same space and now skip two again and in the third stitch double crochet one chain one and double crochet again this is the V stitch and skip two and in the third we're going to double crochet three so keep doing this this is the sequence for this beautiful stitch pattern and you have to keep doing the same thing all the way long and I'm gonna show you in just a moment how this row should be looking at the end. So in here, this is my second last stitch and the stitch that I have to do next is three double crochet together and for the very very last stitch we're going to do the same thing that the beginning of this row which was the chain three so here is the double crochet and to begin the next row we're going to chain three, turn your work, and wherever you have these three double crochet together, you're gonna do the same thing at the top. So in the middle one, double crochet three together. And then wherever you have the V stitch, you're going to do the same thing at the top, on the, the next row, sorry. <laughs> So in here, V stitch right there in the middle. So double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet again. So basically, you're gonna repeat what's in the um, previous row. And we, um, we're gonna be doing this for row seven, eight, and nine. And this is with color C. After those three rows, we're gonna bring back color B. And for this row, we will be crocheting half double crochet in the very first stitch, and then half double crochet in each stitch available. In here, you have to make sure you count the chain between the V stitch as a stitch. So 
in here we have the V stitch which is double crochet chain double crochet so those are three stitches okay so the first double crochet it's one stitch the chain is another stitch so half double crochet right there in the middle and then the next double crochet it's another stitch so make sure you are counting that chain as a stitch otherwise you are gonna be decreasing and we don't want that at the end of this row it's always good to count the stitches I know it's a super long project like there is a lot of stitches but trust me you rather be doing that and take five minutes counting then after I don't know three rows noticing that you have five stitches less or even more and now that you know how to crochet these main rows and how to switch the colors you can go ahead and visit my website I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description box below and there you're gonna find the entire reading pattern so you can finish this beautiful shawl and because now you know how to build it the basics so once your shawl is done now we're gonna proceed to put the fringe and these steps is totally optional it's up to you if you want to put fringe you can do it if you don't want you don't have to you can put tassels or you can just leave it like that i love fringe and i think it gives a beautiful touch to the shawl so what we're gonna do is cut a lot of these um, little strands of yarn and you have to cut them with the length of the fringe that you want keep in mind that afterwards you are going to cut the fringes a little bit to make them all look even and straight and it's gonna be a little bit smaller than what you think so you better cut it longer than shorter and in here as you can see I use a crochet hook and this is how I attach the fringe to my shawl and after doing this I noticed that I'd rather be placing them two together than one by one I think it looks I don't know better and it's faster so you can do the same thing or just attach one by one and what I did in here is placing um, the color brown where the brown part is and then the green where the green is etc so you can do the same thing or if you want just if you have just one color you can just place the same color this is super like freestyle kind of thing so you can do whatever you want and that's it if you liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please follow me on social media you can find me as at CJ design I have Facebook and Instagram I'm always sharing everything there with you guys the link for the reading pattern is going to be in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video and if you have any questions or suggestions, you can also leave it in the description and the comments below, not the description, the comments. <laughs> and that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.